All right, so I'm gonna show you something so powerful that the pros do it all the time, but it's so easy, literally anybody here can start doing it today. If you don't know, I'm Cadence, and I make content every Thursday night at the Twitch link below. So you all know when you're winning a game of Melee, and a second later, you're back to losing or you're tied? I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Pop quiz. Uh, there's this really important moment that happens in every game of Melee several times. It happens in every matchup, every stage, and happens multiple times. Does anyone have a guess on what I'm talking about? Yeah, so a couple of you are right. I'm talking about those two seconds of when your opponent comes back to life and they're invincible. And you'd be amazed that people just turn off their brains during the situation. And the thing is, you guys keep dying. And when I say you guys, I mean the viewers, myself, the people I see participating in Only Noobs. I see this so frequently that I need to call out finally. So often you guys will get a really nice kill the opponent responds and kills you immediately. It's almost hard to watch. Here's a clip I saw recently. Foxy up a stock and then immediately Caesar attacks Foxy on the angel platform. Comes in and what you should do is wait, but no, for some reason Caesar just jumped right into him. And I don't understand why, because this is not how you make a comeback. And this actually costed the entire match. Let's say if you're to remove this particular situation from your matches, and this might be the most important thing you could do to keep a lead or even make a comeback. All right, so we need a game plan for when our opponent responds, right? Actually, we're gonna throw game plans out for just a second. We don't need to overcomplicate this because honestly, a small change can make a huge difference because most of you and most of us don't even really have a strategy going into our opponent's response. All right, so I'm gonna show you something so powerful that the pros do it all the time, but it's so easy, literally anybody here can start doing it today so easy a baby could do it a grandma could do it you don't even need to be able to press a button down all the way but basically if you have opposable dumps you are good to go all right so here's the setup your opponent responds masterfully illustrated by uh yours truly you're captain falcon your opponent fox you just killed them and they just respond your opponent is going to approach you they're going to fall from the platform and they're going to either jump over towards you or they're going to try to get underneath you but they're only going to do a couple different things really. Lastly, you go to the platform and you just hold lightly on the shield button. Yep, that's literally it. You just lightly press it with the trigger or Z and you'll get out scoff free almost every time. Your opponent will try to attack you, but remember you only have two seconds. So you need to realize that if your opponent is not super fast, you're going to waste all of their time. And if it's not clear enough, so here I respond against Falcon, I light shield, and the opponent really just doesn't know what to do and they do like sweet aerial and you I just kind of went on the platform and it didn't really matter. Here I'm playing as Peach and by the way these are real games in tournament against players who could probably beat me. So what I did there was light shield and I just kind of rolled and rolled and that is more than enough time to survive those two seconds. Something you'll see quite often is that your opponent will panic a bit and screw up text go randomly. I saw it a ton of times, I even saw someone SD against me while doing this. This really shouldn't work, but it does. Um, you can do it with any character, against any character, and it's one of those weird, unexplainable things that does pretty well against your opponents. Why does this work? Well, there's two reasons. Your opponent has two choices here. They could try to attack your shield, kind of dumb in my opinion, or they could try to grab you. And I'm gonna break down why this doesn't even work. Option A, try to attack your shield. Well, attacking a light shield is kind of pointless. Normal shield pressure really doesn't work anyway, so your opponent's gonna have a problem just attacking your shield. Also, if they try to come in from underneath, if your opponent comes in from underneath, your shield is so big that they're not gonna poke to it. Option B, grab you. To grab, they have to be on the same floor and on the same platform. And to be on the same platform, they need to run towards it and jump to it. But you only have two seconds to do that, and if you see them trying to jump at the platform to grab you, you have plenty of time to move out of the way. You can jump over them, go underneath them, roll. And that manages to waste all two seconds of their invincibility. Often C, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're not a pro like me, consider subscribing because I make content like this simple enough that even I can understand. 99% of people watching this video are not subscribed and it's a huge way to support a small creator. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for tuning in. I stream every Thursday at twitch.tv and I also upload 
every week, usually on Tuesdays. And yeah, come check it out. I also run a noob tournament every Thursday that is pretty popular. And with that said, I will see you guys next time.